All right. Whew. Let me get the sun out of the camera here. There we go. Um, so at uh, the Indiana Trappers Convention, or at uh, 7B anyways, we had a, f uh, had a few people asking me how I make swack dirt. Um, they were talking about, um, you know, doing uh, basically two and a half gallons at a time. And uh, hey, Anthony, um, and stuff like that. And um, I mentioned that I was gonna have to, you know, finish up my dirt. And uh, so I wanted to give a few people just kind of ideas on how else you can do it. Now, I know there's a plethora of videos that are out there on how to make wax dirt. If you get wax around the, the, the dirt molecule or the grain, you did it right, right? So there is no way that's better than, than really others. There's just some that are more efficient. Um, so hopefully you can hear me just fine. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, um, the cement mixer is a little bit loud, but I also had somebody, um, hey, Aaron, I also had somebody mention that their dirt would get clumpy. Um, so I want to show you that real quick, what that looks like and what the reason for it is. So, yes, this is loud. All right, so if you can see in there, um, all of those, you know, all that dirt was real balled up. It was real clumpy. And that's simply um, the result of uh, not having enough heat yet and not letting it turn long enough. Um, and you'll get those clumps. Just let it keep going. Uh, keep the heat to it but if you can get one of these um, this will keep a lot of your dirt or a lot of problems um, at bay I, now I have burnt it even with using these before but um, we'll show you so right now I'm at 123 degrees um, so I'm at 123 degrees right now. It's been on there for about five minutes and there's 12 gallons of dirt in there and uh, It'll probably go for another five minutes or so but when it's done when it has enough heat applied It's gonna look like this right It's gonna look like this Okay, and right now that's cooling down. So we're at 118, um, so that's cooling nicely. But here's what, uh, here's what I do. So this spot right here is where my buddy who owns a landscape company, Jeff Slatt, who owns uh, Wilcox, lawn and landscaping him and julie so thank you and shout out to them but what i always have them do is they'll bring me a load um, of topsoil and then i'll dry it the biggest thing is drying the dirt and i'll just uh, run it in the cement mixer with some rocks to break up all the dirt and then i'll sift it i'll sift it into these buckets So that's nice and dry, okay? That's, uh, that dirt right there is nice and dry and it's ready to go. Yeah, Jimmy, um, bone dry is what I want it to be. Um, but again, I'll take it from that pile. I'll dry it by using a cement mixer and just the heat in August to dry it. And then I'll put it in those buckets. And then when I'm ready to, to wax all the dirt I use that cement mixer and I picked that cement mixer up, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago off of Craigslist when that used to be a thing. I think I paid 50 bucks for it and I had to replace the motor, um, but I've been using it every year. It works really good. Um, but anyway, so I use that, but I get my, my dirt dry and then I put it in the cement mixer and I've got a little heat going to it. So this is how I do my heat. Okay.
Yeah, Chad, it is pretty cool. That's the only reason I was just kind of given, you know, just another perspective. But, so I'm trying to stay out from under the overhang because it's super loud in there for the camera. But, um, so anyways, once I get the dirt in there, I then take, and I buy wax by the 50 pound bag or 45 pound, whatever it comes in. And uh, let me show you here. This line on that jug, um, that, that line there on that jug is, uh, that's three pounds and those buckets are six gallon buckets. And so I'm doing uh, basically a two to one. Um, Half the uh, half the weight of the dirt is in wax, so that's what I'm doing for our soil conditions here. The topsoil my buddy brings me, um, but anyways, that's really it. So here's kind of a, di a different look at it. Um, so I got the buckets, got the cement mixer. I dump it first into the jet sled. Once I get it dumped, I put another bucket in or another two buckets in, so I'll do 12 gallons at a time. And then once that's going, I'll take the dirt from there, drop it on the box to cool. Now that I got dirt on there, I'll start dumping onto that tarp. Um, once onto that tarp and once that starts cooling, um, then I'll start putting it back in the empty buckets. Um, but one thing to note, when you put it back in those buckets, if there's still any bit of warmth, you can get moisture, right? And moisture in those buckets leads to mold. And that's one of the things you definitely do not want is mold in your buckets of wax dirt. So make sure that it's cool. Or when you put it in the bucket, leave the lid off. All right, leave the lid off overnight or whatever. So let's look here again. All right, if you see that, you can see the clumps are starting to dissipate a little bit. They're starting to break up. Probably another three minutes or so, and uh, we'll be ready to dump that and uh, get it cooling and then get another one in and get it melting. So, um, again, this is not a I know everything sort of a, a video. This is just a different perspective on how people do it. Um, we talk to a lot of people all over the country throughout the season and convention, so it's it's kind of a, it's kind of a bonus for us to kind of learn all the different ways and ideas and stuff. But um, get you one of these; they definitely help. Um, again, I'm going between 145 and 150 degrees um, on the dirt temperature, not the temperature of the drum or anything like that, but the dirt temperature is between 145 and 150 that seems to get the wax nice and melted you get too much over that say you get into 160 170 um, i have had the wax burn before i wouldn't say burn like it caught on fire but it had a, a tainted smell not taint but it had a burnt smell to it um, i didn't like it i still used it and it worked fine but um, i didn't like it so i go between 145 150 seems to work really good um, but uh Anyways, just a quick video, uh, maybe give somebody else some, some additional idea on how they're doing it. But So I've did 20 gallons, uh, or I'm sorry, I did 12 gallons in about 10 minutes. I got another, so it's about 10 minutes per 12 gallons once you have the dry dirt, right? Once you have the dry dirt, it goes really fast. Um, the drying the dirt is the most time consuming piece for me because I'm letting mother nature do most of it. I'm not applying um, a burner to it to heat it. So um, again, just what I do. Hopefully that helps out. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be uh, happy to try and answer them for you. I know uh, my buddy Jeff Dunlap, he's got videos on how to do it in a, um, like a crock pot almost. Um, and I think he's doing like two gallons at a time. And then he's got a video on doing it in a cement mixer, how he does it. 
again, everybody's got their own way, their own little tweaks. Um, watch enough of them, you'll assemble, you'll assemble the best way for yourself. So, um, anyways, take care, everyone. Hope you all are ready for season. It's coming. So we'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. So a quick, uh, a quick continuation. Uh, quick continuation to the live I just did a few minutes ago. Um, so I wanted to show you. So obviously, if you're making your first batch, don't freak out when it's all balled up and stuff like that. So you could see that in the first batch, the dirt was all balled up and everything. And I think we we're around 120, 123 degrees. Um, again, using the fluke, um, I'll show you uh, where we're at now. So as you can see, a huge difference and We're right at perfect. So 145, 146, 148, um, right in that range. Now, I don't normally turn the heat off um, between batches, but I'm gonna on this time. And then I'll show you as we dump uh, what this looks like. So again, We're sitting near perfect. So we'll go ahead and see if I can do this with one hand. So let me shut that off real quick. All right, boy, that's noisy. Okay. So again, so what you've seen is you've seen that the dirt that uh, we originally started with when it was at 120 range, it was real clumpy. It had a lot of balls. It looked like a bunch of balls <clears throat> and it just wasn't coated. The wax was in there. It just wasn't ready for it to melt. Um, but if you look here, um, this is what you're after right so again so now we'll take it from there and we'll either put some up on here or we'll start putting it down on the tarp but let me show you something so this has been cooling and i think we're so that we're down to 94 degrees so it's cooling but what will happen is is it'll start clumping up a little bit like like these clumps Ain't nothing, um, but what I'll uh, what I'll generally do is I'll let it cool overnight, and you'll get these these clumps. Again, it's not uh, it's not anything to worry about. They bust right up. Um, what I'll do is before I before I bucket everything, once it's cool, I'll run it through the cement mixer for about thirty seconds. I'll just throw batches in, let it run, dump it, let it run, dump it that jet sled will get full of wax dirt, right? That whole jet sled will be full of wax dirt. And then I'll dump it into the buckets. So then in the bucket, there's no clumping. There's nothing like that. It's all nice and cool. Again, if, if your situation, um, if you've got to put the dirt into buckets because you don't have the space or whatever, make sure you leave that lid off um, so, that, uh, so that dirt can cool. And any moisture that you didn't get out when you were drying it can escape. That heat can cool. It can escape. Um, or else you're going to end up with moisture in your bucket and then you get mold, right? Um, so in my opinion, waxing it is critical, but cooling it is just as critical, if not more critical, because you don't want to ruin all the work that you just put into it by letting it get all moldy. And that does happen. Um, but again, if you get clumps, keep pouring the heat to it. Um, keep it turning. Um, don't go too much over 150. And, uh, and uh, you know, the last tip is obviously leave those buckets open until they're cooled off or, or leave that dirt out in the open and let it cool off. Um, so anyways, that's how I do it. Um, again, I know there's a ton of ways. Um, like I mentioned before, Dunlap's got a bunch of videos on how to do it. 
Um, I think Harry's got videos on how to do it. Um, I think just about anybody in the trapping industry has videos on how they wax dirt. So um, just one more, just one more way showing you my process. And uh, anyways, um, I'm going to get this mixer back going again and get the heat going and keep making dirt. So y'all take care and uh, see you down the line.